Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel, My Project Ideas. Today we are going to make a C++ project on the topic, Employee Management System. So without much delay, let's begin. First, we'll be looking at the requirements of this project. You will be requiring an IDE for running and compiling the source code. A text editor, again, the text editors may be of various types, depending on your use. You can use code blocks or VS code. Thirdly, an operating system is required. Again, it depends on you which operating system you want to use. Now we'll be moving towards the explanation of the code part, which is very important. Now you can see here, we have included all the header files. Then we have the standard line named using namespace std. Then we have the main function where we have the file pointers. Character variables named another and choice. Then we have a structure named struct employee where we have the character array named first name, last name. We have an int age and long salary. Then we have declared another structure, employee. We have character arrays again, the first name, x first name, x last name, then long int record size. Then we are using file handling concept here. So we are using the fopen function to open it for, to open the file from which you want to read or write to. Here, the name of the file is users.txt file. If the file pointer or the file is null, then you have to open the file, then you have to write in it. If there is nothing, initially there is nothing in the file, then you open the file to write in it, right? So then you have, if the file pointer is null again, like if after writing also there is nothing in the readable format, then the file can't be opened. That means this file does not exist. Then here we come to the part where we know about the functionalities of this project. We have five basic functionalities that is add records, list records, modify records, delete records and exit the program. You have to select your choice depending on what you want to do. If you select on Y, like if you click Y, not click actually if you type Y, like the capital one, the uppercase Y or the lowercase Y, that stands for yes. So the case one will be adding of records. Here it will ask you to enter your first name, last name, the employee age and the employee salary. And it will ask you whether you want to continue with another record or not. Again, you have to type Y or N depending on your choice. Again, you will be driven towards the beginning of this case. And again, if you want to enter someone, somebody else's record, then you can do it as per the distant part. Then the case two will be to view the list in the database. So here, whatever data you have inputted, all the list will be displayed. Whatever files, whatever data you have been entered to the file, that will display. In the case three, it will ask you to enter the last name of the employee, after which it compares the employee's last name with the entered last name. And if the string comparison comes out to be true, then again it asks you the certain attributes, like the certain specifications of the person, which you need to enter again. If the record is not found anywhere, then it will display that, sorry, the record not found. And you can modify another record, like whatever record you want to modify, that particular modification is not possible because that particular person's data is missing. In the case four, we have the last name of the employee to delete. That is for the deleting operation. Again, as in all the cases we have already seen that whenever you want to delete something, you should have a backup of that. Like in the near future, you may require it. You never know. For that reason, we have that stem dot dat file which has all our recovered or the temporary deleted items so whatever we are going to delete from users.txt that we are going to store in temp.dat or like when we it will be possible we can retrieve it so if again it will ask you if you want to delete another record if yes you can just type y if no you can type n and in the case 5, if you don't want to go with it, if you do, do want to exit from the code, you can. So that is what case 5 does. And finally, your, this is our 
it will display thank you for using our interface and you will be driven out from the code. So this is what the explanation of the code part was. Now we'll be moving towards the implementation in the coding part. So this is the code, what it looks like. So I'll run it. So I run it here. We'll just wait for some second, like it is executing. So after execution, you will be seeing this, the same options, which I explained you in the previous part. See, you got these options, add list, modify, delete, and exit. So I click on one. So it will ask me to enter the first name. I entered it. Name is Simran. The last name will be Patnayak. My age is 20. My salary is say 10,000. Oh, I typed over like mistake. Yeah, 10,000. So do I want to add another record? I say no. I don't want to add. So now let me see the records. See, Simran Patnaik, my age is 20 and my salary is 10,000. So let me see. Okay, let me modify the record. So what is the last name? Patnaik, right? So be careful with the spellings. The new first name, my first name is Simran only. My last name is Patnaik only. My age is 20. And my salary is say 15,000. Okay. I want to modify any other record. No. So now let me see if my record has been updated. See. It is again changed to 15,000. Got it right. Now let me see. I have to delete the record. So what is the last name? Say Patnaik. Entered Patnaik. Uh, yes, I can say yes. So here Patnaik entered. No. So now let me see if my record has been deleted. See. So I entered one record which was deleted because I wanted to delete it. So this is the code. Now let me exit the program. Exited. So see, it is the screen. Thank you. So I hope you understood the working of this code. Thank you for watching and subscribe to our channel to get more interesting project ideas. Thank you and have a great day. Thank you.